Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi from the Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the entire world. And today, I'm here to answer that question that everyone who travels there ends up asking. Where's the cheapest place to shop, Miami or Orlando? It's going to be a very quick video just to answer that question, very direct with all the tips you need to know about your shopping and without any ado. So guys, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel here and buckle up. Well guys, I'm going straight to the point not to beat around the bush, what's the best place to do your shopping, Miami or Orlando? In our opinion, we've traveled extensively to both cities and it's both, there's no better or worse place, that's the conclusion we've come to, we've compared the prices of things a lot and we've found very cheap things in Miami, cheaper things in Orlando, so we found the prices to be very similar, it's very difficult to find a place where we say, wow, we're going to stop shopping in Miami or we're going to stop shopping in Orlando, so both of the places are very good. There are a few things we need to take into consideration, the tax on purchases, the tax on purchases in Miami is a little lower, but it's minimal, it's 0.5% lower than in Orlando, in Miami 6.5% and in Orlando is 7, this will make practically no difference to your purchases, any promotion you find in Orlando will make up for this amount, so that's the only point where there really is a difference, but it's minimal. What do we recommend? Here are a few tips if you have any doubts, if you're going to visit Miami and Orlando on the same trip, leave the biggest purchases for the second city you go to because if you go to Miami do all of your shopping there when you travel to Orlando you will have to take everything with you on the way and if you're driving you will fill up your car if you go by other means of transportation you'll have a lot of work to do with your bags so the tip is leave it for the final destination if you've left Orlando for last buy in Orlando if you've left Miami for last so you buy in Miami we think it's better that way so you don't have to carry all of your things together when you go to the next city so it's better that way Talking about outlets and malls, which have the best outlets and which have the best malls, we also think it's the same. Speaking of outlets, Orlando has two very good outlets, which are the two premium outlets. There is Vineland and International, they're very similar, they're owned by the same company and they're very close to, and they're very similar to the Sawgrass Mills Miami outlets. The one in Miami is a bit bigger, but it doesn't make any difference. They have the same stores, all the stores that tourists are looking for. The two outlets, all three, right, will have the same stores and talking about shopping malls Miami has a bit more shopping but Orlando also has good shopping centers there's the Florida mall which is huge and very good Miami has the Dolphin mall the Aventura mall so it ends up being them for them so leave the shopping to be done at the end of your trip and also on a day when you're more relaxed sometimes you have a busy schedule in Miami so you leave the shopping in Orlando if you have a busy schedule in Orlando because of the parks you can do a bit more shopping in Miami which will give you a bit more time off and free time but don't get caught up in the doubts, the savings, the cheaper price, because it's really going to be the same in the end. If you have a different opinion to ours, please comment too, because it's really nice to hear from other people you know to have this experience, but from our experience, we think it's basically the same. If you're more interested in finding out more in-depth shopping malls, tips, which are the best malls and outlets in each city, take a look at our video. We have a video about shopping in Miami and a video about shopping in Orlando, about the best malls and outlets in each city. It's really worth it. So check it out. You're gonna like it. And that's it guys, I hope you liked the video, if you like it, give us a like here, it's very important, subscribe to the channel to follow the next tips from Orlando and Miami, which you post here, and follow us on social media, we're always traveling around the world, trying out our tips in a really cool way, giving you all the tips and showing you our routine, our day-to-day -day life with the little ones, which are a blast, and if we've missed any tips, you have any doubts, if you have any tips to give us on the subject, comment here on the video, tell us, share your experiences, because we're here to interact, to listen to people, that's what makes the channel grow and each time we have better tips to give people and don't miss out on our video to save a lot in Miami and how to save a lot in Orlando. These are tips that will save you a lot on your entire trip. They are tips that will save you money on all your planning from car rental, cell phone, SIM cards, tickets, travel insurance, accommodation and even the things you do on your trip such as amusement parks, beaches, tours, shopping malls, restaurants. You can save a lot on everything. So here are two videos on how to save a lot in Miami and how to save a lot in Orlando and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video and have nice trips